Now, before I begin this video, I want to say thank you for all the love and support on episode one of Road to Saints Row 5. It was incredible to see all the response and feedback from you guys on exactly what my thoughts were on my theory and other things that I had talked about in the video. So I want to, again, thank you guys so much for all that love and support that you've showed. I really, really appreciate it. Now today, let's talk about something a little bit different, and it's something that a lot of the community has already speculated on. It's something that the, a lot of the community has already kind of given their thoughts and opinions about, but I wanted to share some of mine, and it may be the same as yours. It may be some of the same thoughts as other Saints Row community YouTubers out there that have said and have echoed the same the same things, the same sentiments. So allow me to give my two cents on a certain topic, which is in relation to the size and scope of Saints Row 5. Now, I'm not here to say that exactly what the size of Saints Row 5 is going to be in terms of the city, in terms of how much we can explore, in terms of how much we can actually do. But I want to give my thoughts on exactly what I feel it should be. If you've been keeping up with Saints Row over the past number of years, you would know that Saints Row 1 and 2 were both set in Stillwater, and Saints Rows 3 and 4 were set in Steelport. Now, I'm not saying that there's a particular pattern that they did on purpose. However, if the trend continues where it's two games in one city... Who's to say that we won't see a new city in Saints Row 5? Now, again, this is all speculation on my part. I don't know what they're going to do. They could go back to Stillwater, which in many people's opinions is the popular choice. Going back to Saints Row 2, going back to the gang mentality, going back to that lifestyle that the Saints had before Saints Row the Third, going back to the storylines where it was more serious, where you could explore other buildings where you could be able to take over gangs and defeat them. And that's great. But a lot of other people are talking about wanting that wacky, crazy, out of the box, off the wall mentality that Saints Row the Third and especially Saints Row Four had. So again, there's a balance between two and three that I'm sure the developers have been thinking about for the last couple of years. But in this case, in this video, I want to specifically stick to the city. Whether it's Stillwater, whether it's Steelport, whether it's somewhere new. The basis is, since this is most likely going to be developed for the next-gen consoles, there has to be some sense of scope, a bigger sense of scope than in the previous Saints Row games. They've worked on this game for a long t period of time now. It's already been confirmed. It's been done. It's been worked on since Agents of Mayhem released a few years ago. So we're going on about, I'd say probably four years almost with this game being in development. So that should tell you that they're taking their time to really get this right. And yes, the pandemic did affect some of the development time and some of the things that they probably wanted to do, which is why we haven't gotten any trailer, we haven't gotten official official release date, we haven't gotten any gameplay, we haven't even gotten any screenshots yet of what this game is going to be. However, I am convinced that right now, as we speak, they have been or are already have thought about the scope of this city, what you're going to be able to do there. What are the NPCs going to be like? Can you go into different buildings like in Saints Row 2 where you could go inside the mall and you can go inside just not just shops, not just image by design or any of the other, any of the other shopping centers, but actually going inside buildings and exploring buildings. Are cribs going to return? And talking about not just penthouses, but cribs and other places you could go into. What are the NPCs going to be like? Are they going to be just where they're static and almost all of them look the same, almost all of them act the same? Or are they going to be like newer NPCs in other open world games where you can interact with them, where they have different animations, where they have different different uh, voices, and they have 
different ways you can interact with them. Like if something happens on the street and a car explodes, would they react? Would they run off in terror and fear? Like you got to think these things out when you're going into this next console generation, which we're already in right now. Will they be able to do that? I don't know. But it's a nice thing to think about whether they have that in their heads now or they already have had this in their heads. And with the game not being released yet, with the game not even being mentioned yet, or a release date, screenshots, whatever, this gives them more time to listen to the community. And we as fans have said for the longest time that the next game should be more diverse. It should be more open. There should be more to do, more activities, a bigger story, more activities when it comes to being able to enter buildings, more customization options. There's a lot of a checklist that fans have wanted from this game. And I'm sure Volition and Deep Silver have listened to all of those things. How big is the city going to be? I'd say it should be at least much, much bigger than Saints Row's 2, 3, or 4. Now, Saints Row the Third was a big city, yes. But in this new generation, it should be even bigger. Let's say if you did go back to Stillwater, it's been years since Stillwater was introduced in the games. Let's just say that maybe Ultor built upon the city like they were going to in the first place. Maybe there's been an expansion of Stillwater. Or let's say you're back in Steelport and Stag's gone, the Luchadors are gone, the Deckers are gone, all the gangs are gone, and you own the city. Would you expand it? Would the Saints have expanded the city by that point? Who knows? What if it's somewhere completely different? What if it's somewhere new? Or what if it's not one big city, but it's Stillwater and Steelport together where you can go between each city and that compensates for the fact that they can't have a massive city like any other open world game. Now, also remember, they're not on a Rockstar budget. They're not on an EA budget. They don't have that many developers working on this game, I don't believe. They don't have hundreds and hundreds of people and investing millions and millions of dollars into making this game great. But what they do have, and I might be a little facetious here when I say this, but I feel like they have the drive, the passion, the determination to really make this game for the fans. Because if you remember Agents of Mayhem, it never really reached the potential that it could have been if it had been developed better, if it had been marketed better, if it had a better story, which to me the story was decent, but it wasn't what Saints Row fans wanted. It wasn't that massive hit that they thought. It was them going out of their comfort zone, yes. It was them trying something different, yes, and you can't fault them for that. You can't fault them for wanting to do something different, for wanting to try something new. But after all the layoffs and them almost going out of business and everything, they went back to what works, and that is Saints Row. They know that that is their massive hit. They're, that's their moneymaker. That's their baby. And now they're putting everything, every bit of their resources into this. So in my opinion, it needs to, the city needs to be bigger. The environments need to be better. The NPCs need to be more interactive, not just with the player, but with each other as well. You'd be able to go and explore more buildings, have more roads and more places to drive to, not just where it's fast travel here and fast travel there, especially since I don't believe there's going to be superpowers in this game. So it's not like you can fly from one, one side of the map to the other with superpowers. Yes, you have jets, you have hover bikes and things like that. However, if you're going to do a massive, massive map, it should be able, you should be able to be able to fly from one side of the map to the other, but not as fast as you would in Saints Row 2 and 3. Being able to have more activities. Let's say if you're back in Stillwater, we can go inside the inside the dome and drive around in there as an activity. Maybe insurance fraud gets updated. Maybe you could have an expanded insurance fraud. Maybe fuzz gets updated a little bit more. Like there are different activities and better activities and maybe even someone's some new activities that we've not even heard of before. 
there's a lot that they can do in a massive open world. And especially if you bring in four player co-op, if you bring in four player co-op in a massive world, you don't have to make it like GTA online. You don't have to make it like Red Dead online. You don't have to make it like any of those other online open world genres that there are right now but make it unique to where it's your own make it to where it's unique to saints row and fans will get behind it fans will flock to it that is the important step here is this game whether it's the size of the map whether it's the things you can do in the map whether it's the environments and everything in between it has to be for the fans because they're the ones that drive you. They're the ones that drive this community forward. They're the ones that have been having an outcry over the return of Saints Row. Whether it's the game, whether it's the movie coming up, we want more Saints Row. But we also want it to be the best that we can make it. The best it can be. The best the developers can make it. And that's why we go on here. And that's why we tell our opinions and share our thoughts. Because we want the best for this game. We love this game. We love the characters. We love investing our time and our emotions into these characters that we've grown up with for so many years now. So Deep Silver, Volition, if you by some chance are listening to this, we are here. We are wanting to help. We're wanting to give our, our thoughts and share our opinions. You see it every day on your Twitter. To me, the best way forward in this game is a bigger map, better NPCs, more characters, more ways to explore, more places to explore, and more to do. Make things interesting, even past the story mode. If you have an open world, make sure that we are able to use it to the best and the biggest that we possibly can. And that, that is how you can interact and you can able to cash in in this, in this case on a game franchise and this game that you really want to make the best of. So again, thank you guys so much for listening. What do you guys think about the map of Saints Row 5? How big do you think it should be? Do you think it's going to be in Stillwater, Steelport, or somewhere new? Maybe Stillwater and Steelport? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your support from episode one. It really means the world to me. It really does mean a lot and i hope to bring more of these episodes to you i hope to bring more of these road to central five episodes very very soon so thank you guys and i'll talk to you guys in the next video